Oh my god. This is so cute. Why did it take you so long? Because I'm just like, I would have never expected you to get this for me. Try not. I thought it was so cool. This is so cute. Oh my god. I, I'm like obsessed with it. Okay, open this one. I have receipts for everything. Like if you don't like anything. I No, I love this. Anything. I love this. You don't have to if I you I promise don't. you I love this. Open, open this one next. Open this one. Okay. Shut up! <laughs> Shut to the untrained eye, it says Santa Claus. But to the trained eye, it says, tie me the fuck up. <laughs> Hello, I'm your genie. You get three. I want a fat ass. I want a fat ass. Let's go. Fat ass. Okay, there are some rules that I. Shawty got a big old butt. Come on. Come on. Wish number one, two, and three. Let's go. I'm looking. Come on. Just took this photo on Snapchat. <laughs> I don't look like that. <laughs> Catfish me. Ow. So I was talking to my mom, and I was like, I think I want to be a sugar baby. And she was like, oh, a what? What? Oh, I do, what? Where do you get these ideas? <laughs> I said, ma'am. Ever since I was an infant, once a year, we would make a pilgrimage to wait in line so that I could sit on this silver daddy's lap and whisper in his ear anything that I wanted. And as long as I was good, he would get it for me. And he did. That man is the only man that has never let me down. Where do I get these ideas? I was, I, bitch, I was groomed for this. You trained me for this. Don't get mad because I have follow through. You know, my boyfriend's a lot like a good employee. He always comes early. That is really a lie, so you should <laughs> not do that because that's not true. I am always coming late. Why are you always in a mood? Fucking I'm not in a fucking mood! Stop asking me that! <laughs> Y'all, just wait. Watch this part. Oh my god. Thanks. I'm so gay for Emily. Oh, I think I'll have a banana. No, those are the Christmas bananas. Fine, I'll have some popcorn. Ah, that's the Christmas popcorn. Whatever, I need a piss. No, that's the Christmas toilet. We heard about those um, <clears throat> face massagers, so we're on our way to check them out. We went to the closest Dollar Tree and we looked all around the makeup and beauty aisles and we weren't able to find them. We thought we were going to have to head to another one, but we ended up finding them in the hair supplies. The cashier said they must be everyone's favorite because they're just selling out. <laughs> So yeah, we're about to go wash our face. Hi, it's me, Mama, and I need your help with a Christmas wish. A Christmas wish for me. I know that right now a lot of people are alone. There are people who've come out of the closet this year whose families disown them, and they're going to be alone this Christmas. There's people who are in unaccepting households this Christmas. And so we've decided to live stream for most of the day. 
So if you could help me by doing whatever you need to do to get this word out, like, comment, share, duet, stitch, <laughs> just get the word out. I'm going to be live streaming most of the day on Christmas. I don't want you to be alone. Come hang out. We'll sit by the tree. You can see all the chaos that happens in this household. I want you to know that you're loved and that God loves you so deeply. Don't be alone on Christmas and don't allow anybody else to either. I'll see you then. I love you. Okay, so I moved out at 18. I'm almost 24. I have my own cat. I moved across the country two years ago to Los Angeles to live way far away from my family. So some people would say that I'm an adult, but today I, I became an actual adult because I bought a fucking Christmas tree. Like I, I went to the store and I said, hello man, take my money. I want a Christmas tree because I have Christmas in my apartment now without my parents, which means that I'm an adult because I bought ornaments. And one of the things that goes under, that's like a tablecloth for the floor. Thanks for your time. Okay, 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 okay. Boobs is out, ooh, ass is out, ooh, ooh, head, 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 head. Um, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Are, are you gay? Me gay? Are you gay? We got L, legendary. <laughs> G, gorgeous. <laughs> B, beautiful. All of you beautiful people. <laughs> T, tantalizing. And even Q for the quality. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Whenever I see girls and boys and a boy say the girls see me, I remember the shop and the shop remembers me. Whenever I see people and the people see me, I believe that Christmas and Christmas lives in me. Let's light a Christmas tree and a Christmas tree will light up. <laughs> dumb stupid as fuck christmas movie with two queer people okay so hear me out it's christmas time a woman is getting married she's two best friends one of them her high school best friend one of them her high-powered attorney best friend in new york city they're both gay and they're both super hot she chooses both of her best friends to be her dual maids of honor her high school best friend is a super hippie, granola, Pacific Northwest, Oregon type gal. Her New York City best friend is super type A, super detail oriented. The personalities don't mesh at all, and so hijinks ensue. They have to plan this whole wedding, but they can't stop fighting. But as it turns out, all of that arguing was just hidden feelings for one another. And they fall madly in love and plan a beautiful wedding, and it's a Christmas miracle. A bit of oversimplified queer history. There is a reason why queer people wanted marriage so badly and it wasn't because we just needed to be equal to the straights. So since time immemorial, queer people had been living in like domestic partnerships that some people called marriages, some people called unions, some people would be like, oh those are confirmed bachelors or spinster aunties, and people were okay with it. But then the AIDS pandemic happened. All of a sudden, your loved one is in the hospital dying. You can't go visit them. You have no rights. You're not on their insurance. Their family, who's kicked them out and doesn't ever want to see them again, swoops in, makes all their medical decisions, takes all their stuff, takes all their money, and bans you from the funeral. And if they're trans, puts their dead name on their headstone and takes them back home to be buried. You have no rights. God forbid there's any kids involved in this situation because you're fucked. Marriage isn't just about love, it's about being respected by the law. That's what's at stake here. Oh my god, babe, why do you have so many chargers right here? So I never have to leave this spot. <laughs> have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay!